So I stumbled across a thread on the Texas subreddit and they uncovered a video of teenage Ted Cruz. He was about 17, maybe 18 at the time. And suffice to say, not much has changed. But warning, this video is very cringeworthy and he's going to do some very Ted Cruz-y jokes. So let's watch. Hey, is that like sweat on my butt? No, no, I see what you want me to do, what I want to do in life. Well, my aspiration is to, uh, oh, I don't know, be in a teen tit film like that guy who played Horatio. You know, he was in Malibu Bikini Beat Shop. Well, other than that, uh, take over the world. World domination, you know, rule everything. Rich, powerful, that sort of stuff. Okay, so that confirms that he has always been a weird little freak. Now, for him to say that he wants world domination uh, or he wants to dominate the world, you know, it's a little bit too on the nose knowing now that he'd grow up to be a theocrat. And theocrats want to assert control over everyone else and impose their will on the majority of the country, even if their views are indeed minoritarian. So it's interesting. Now, now one thing that just it made me unironically laugh was when he said <laughs> in a very Ted Cruz voice, aspirations is that like the sweat on my butt i mean that's the most ted cruz thing ever right he'd say that now <laughs> he constantly tries to be edgy and be an outsider and seeing that video really makes me understand modern day ted cruz because he never had charisma he never was likable and you could see it. And like, I don't want to be too down on him, right? Because at this time, 17, 18, you're young, you get a pass for most of this. But like, I think it's really interesting to look back at the past and really see, you know, the person who they are now. And I feel like he kind of was always this weasley little smarmy douchebag. Um, he also said, my aspiration is to be in a teen tit film like the guy who played Horatio. I mean, look, that's not too shocking to hear a horny 17 year old say, but to hear Ted Cruz say it in his very nasally Ted Cruz voice, I mean, it just, there's something about it that hits differently. Like if you take all of these jokes and somebody else who was 17 or 18 said it, I think it wouldn't be as bad or as cringeworthy, but because it's Ted Cruz, it hits differently. Now, Reddit, they actually kind of were split on this based on the thread that I read or some of the comments that I saw where it's like, okay, not a big deal, right? It's Ted, he's a kid. It's Ted Cruz. I get it. We hate him, but he's a kid. Don't read too much into this, but other people kind of pushed back and I don't know where I land, but I'll let you know uh, after reading these comments again, because I was kind of torn for a little bit. So the Redditor who shared the video asked, how did this man make it to Princeton and Harvard? That's a really good question. Now commenter scumgangsta8 said, I hate Ted Cruz, but here he's a high schooler talking shit. It ain't that deep, bro. And I agree with this. Yeah, we all said stupid shit when we were young. I I'm just glad that's all media wasn't around back then that's actually a really good point no others stated well may maybe so but um, most teens his age who were bullies and jerks kept it into adulthood this is a reflection of exactly the type of person he became another person adds i feel like if this was beto or whoever his opponent may be republicans would eat it up and use it to their advantage yeah so overall i think i mostly agree with scum gangs to aid i think that they make a phenomenal point that look he's a kid here you can't like use everything against him and the point about like if we had social media social media when we were younger how embarrassed we'd all be that is a thousand percent true we all know it right we all would be so embarrassed um but at the same time i do think that the point about you know these people when they're young they're bullies and jerks and they kind of always are that way and you kind of see that reflected in their adulthood i do think that there is something there to that because i've met people like ted cruz who have these inferiority complexes and part of it is because you know they have low self-esteem so the way that they you know accommodate or make up for it is to bully others you know try to poke fun at others bring their confidence down as well and i have no evidence that that is what ted cruz was but you know he's a bully now so it wouldn't necessarily surprise me if you know there was a seed there and it was it was growing or it did grow into something um now sure i i'm i'm not going to say that we should make fun of people when they're younger because he was a kid there but we have no reason to not make fun of adult ted cruz and there is no shortage of shit to clown on him for for example this individual literally swallowed a tonsil stone on national 
television. And I didn't know at first if that was a booger or not, but commenters at the time said it was a tonsil stone and it came up when he was talking, which is so fucking disgusting. But he did this on national television and rather than like wiping it off of his mouth like a normal human being, he literally swallowed it. So fucking gross. And also, I mean, we can't forget that he liked porn on his public Twitter account. And it's not like this was any ordinary day where he chose to like porn on his public Twitter account. He liked porn on 9-11. 9-11, folks. <laughs> now, for no reason whatsoever, BuzzFeed decided to do a promotional video with Ted Cruz when he was running for president back in 2016, where he did voices of The Simpsons. And this is the cringe that is the worst, way worse than what he said when he was 17. This video makes me want to jump out of my own skin. Take a look. With us, release the hounds. Excellent. Heidly ho, neighbor. Oakley doakley, neighborino. One of the great exchanges between Homer and Lisa. But dad, I'm a vegetarian. I don't eat animals. But Lisa, animals are so delicious. There's the animal we get bacon from, the animal we get ham from, the animal we get sausage from. Dad, that's all the same animal. Oh, sure, Lisa, a magic animal that all the wonderful foods come from. Kang and Kodos, in one of the great classic episodes when they run for president, I'm running for president now, and you know, it's really tough. Forward, not backwards. Upwards, not downwards. And always twirling, twirling for freedom. Thanks for that, BuzzFeed. Really appreciate that. The world definitely needed that. That was probably the worst most cringeworthy video that Ted Cruz did. Um, well, I don't want to say that. The tonsil stone is up there. 50-50, I'm not really sure. But let me be perfectly honest. If Ted Cruz were a good person, would I still make fun of him for being a smarmy, insufferable little cunt? Probably, because he's just... He's target rich. <laughs> There's so much there. And like, that's not to say that I'm not also a target rich individual. You can make fun of me for a plethora of things. Uh, but Ted Cruz, because he's a shitty person, it just makes dunking on him and poking fun at him for, you know, admittedly kind of mean reasons that much more rewarding because this is somebody who is a bad person. The policies that he supports are fascistic. He is the most opportunistic individual, craven individual, perhaps in all of politics who will say and do anything to get ahead. So like, Honestly, he'd be goofy if he was just a normal person who wasn't a fascist authoritarian. He'd be one of those individuals that probably, like, talks a little bit too close to you, but they don't realize that they're doing that, but they mean well. But the fact that he's evil just, like, adds to me wanting to dunk on him and hate him. He has a hateable face, and he's just a piece of shit. So, look, I don't feel bad making fun of him, and I think that we need videos like, like this as sort of palate cleansers, right? Like these people make us so fucking miserable. They enact laws that literally kill people around the globe. So I think that it's okay once in a while to laugh at these fuckheads who make America a shittier place to live. And I'm sorry, I'm unapologetic about that. So I'll leave that there. Ted Cruz when he was 17 was still very Ted Cruzy, And you know, he's always been that smarmy douchebag since he was younger. Shocker, right? Me, 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 me. Yeah, I'm Ted Cruz. Me, 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 me. Alpha male, not a beta male.